Welcome to Josh's Cooking Corner. Um, it's Friday night. Your girl wants some food. You don't want to take her out to dinner because you're flat broke. I got an idea for you guys that will it's sure to impress. All right, step one. I picked some nice uh, fillet sole from the uh, from a fresh uh, fresh fishmonger. Doesn't smell like anything but the ocean. Matt, you want to smell it? All right, you'll pass. Okay. Anyway. Step one, dump the fish on the tin foil. You can zoom in. Okay. You want to lay it flat on there. See that? Step two, you want to put a little bit of salt, the black pepper. Just like this. Now it's a white fish. I like my preference is uh, a little paprika on the on the white fish because I like the redness in the fish. See that? See that nice color there? It looks nice. Okay. Step three: a little olive oil. A little olive oil right there. Okay, now if you notice, I didn't preheat the oven, and there's a reason for that. Because I don't want the, cook, the fish to cook through. I want it to get charred first, and then cook through. If you preheat it, it's going to be dry fish. So I put it in just like that, put it on broil, set it and forget it about 10 minutes or so. You want to take a look at it. Okay? Now as I mentioned to you before, um... I, uh, I have these beet chards, and uh, they're like spinach. I'm going to fry them in a, in a pan with a little olive oil. I've never had them before, but I hear they taste like spinach. It's okay to play around. And by the way, this is pumpkin stuff. We were making like pumpkin uh, cake, and these are shards. They actually taste like hash browns. So I forgot about them just now. I'm going to actually dump these on the side of the fish right there. Take a look at that. That's going to actually taste like potatoes. I don't have potatoes. Might as well play around. I'm going to put a little salt. Then I'm going to put a little, same thing, black pepper. And I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on there. Kind of running out of olive oil. That's all right. That's all I needed. Actually, well, we'll get some, we'll get some more olive oil. Okay. So we're doing that. I got this uh, beet spinach stuff. Most people are like, "Oh my God, you're gonna try something different." That's the way. I, that's how I roll. I had these beets. We need like beet. Uh, we need um, like juice with them, and I didn't want to throw this out. Why waste it? It might it might even taste good. Who knows? So I've been heating up this pan. I can tell it's a little too hot now. So I'm gonna just turn that off real quick for a minute. Just cool this off, and then I'm gonna just dump this beet stuff in here. It's pretty nasty. I actually um, had boiled this, so I know it's really clean. Put a little bit of uh, salt. I'm going to put a little bit of um, black pepper. I'm going to cut some uh, pieces of garlic real quick. You know, any type of uh, spinach or plant, you know, they always say you can't, you can't go wrong with garlic and olive oil. I'm going to put this in in a minute. I'm going to turn this back on. It was a little too hot. I didn't want to, like, burn it too fast or anything. And in this type of situation, 
Take a look at this. I know I put it in a little weight, so I'm gonna let it uh, sweat a little on the side like that before I actually mix it up. Throw in a little olive oil. And in fact, I'm gonna move it like right over there just to get it hotter, right over the gas, okay? I'm gonna cut a lemon now. You can't go wrong, butter, lemon, garlic, squirt. I only have one lemon, so I'm kind of trying to conserve here. Get a spoon, kind of like get it all the way in there. You know, sometimes I use the edge of this, the edge like this. Works pretty well. Let's take a look at the uh, fish. See how that's doing. We got some time on this. I'm actually gonna put a little more olive oil on on the top there. I want to I want to see it crisp up a little. Not too much, just a little. Now the fish, take a close look. It's starting to char on top. It looks like it's almost ready actually, if not ready. So what I'm gonna do now, right at the end, this is how I make it, everybody makes it a little different. I'm putting the parsley on all the way at the end because it, this parsley burns, okay? And we don't want the parsley to burn. Um, and you know, I like that technique that I used through trial and error where I didn't um, preheat the oven. The top is burnt, but the, the, the center is moist, I guarantee you. That's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, you want to try it? You should try it. You want to try it on that? Okay. Okay, so take a look at the fish. It's ready. All right. I got these little shorts here. Huh. That would suck if this dropped. But all right. Anyway, take a look. Gentlemen, make the dish look nice for your girlfriend. Okay. It's like a little vegetable here. Get a few uh, pieces of garlic on there, you know. Not too much though, if you're gonna be uh, hanging out with your girlfriend after. Me, on the other hand, it's all right. She doesn't care. <laughs> and then, uh, all right. So we got this going on. See this juice right here? Just never waste any juice. Okay, so we got that. Now we got a little fish. I got a little hash here, actually, pumpkin hash. Now, uh, look at these fish. They're like pretty big. It's kind of a pain in the ass to take off. I don't know, maybe someone considers a huge full pot, but sometimes I like these fish just cut it like right in half and just stack it up. I'm gonna give my girl the nice one. Now anyway, um, then you get this juice here. This is like good stuff. You don't want to waste this. This is the gravy right here. You don't want to waste that. Mmm. Try the shards here. Well, you. It's actually really, really good. All right. And the shards. Okay. Just cutting them. All right. Mm. What about that pumpkin Dang, hash? So good. Leftover. This is like leftover pumpkin hash. Is that all right? No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you have it. Girl satisfied. Save some money in the wallet. Extra money for drinks when we go out. It is Friday night. And uh, welcome to Josh's Cooking Corner. Stay tuned for some other uh, other ingredients. Thank you.